Eyes down for the other one. Monday afternoon folks, I'm at the workshop and I just got here and look what's outside the door. I don't know who's left it for me, but whoever's left it, A, thank you, and B, do you want your bucket back? Thanks very much. The reason I'm here is because I've just got to pop up to Keith because the freezers have gone off. Which means that the dog meat isn't being frozen anymore and it also means that the shed powers off so we have to find a fault, probably a mouse a nibbling on the cables. So I'll bring you back when I find it. Bye now. Afternoon folks, Wednesday. The weather outside is frightful but in here it's almost delightful. Uh, so the tidy up continues. That end's done for the first level and now on with this there's no there's no question of doing any work outside today it's given really bad weather it's raining now it's been raining most of the morning and so after a little pop down to uncle michael's to just check on his wiring i'm uh, i'm on with this so i'll bring you back when i've made massive inroads and made it all tidy again bye now so folks, tidy bench and messed it up again. I've done a long standing job that I needed to do on this, which was just simply put a piece of heat shrink on the on the cable where there's a worn through part. Put a bulb in it, 12 volts, it works. And then I started to strip this uh, this lamp, which is what I was working on before. Before we started in the field. Look at all those bloody washers, right? Four little gears, roll pins, and that's the whole mechanism out of one joint. All that is out of one joint, right? There's three joints. So we've got that three times over. So we've got gears. We've got washers with peg holes in like that we've got what flat washers we've got dished washers or doughty washers or whatever you want to call them we've got all bloody sorts so there's no wonder they can't afford to make lights like these nowadays because they're just so complex and look at the uh that's the joint that's the joint there drilled roping through thread through Hollow one side, solid the other side, wire go, of course goes through the middle. So I'm going to have to leave these wires in here to use as draw wires. Because uh, there isn't a hole in the end, so I'm going to have to leave the wires in to use as draw wires. Right, I shall continue and strip the rest of the thing down. And this is all just to paint it. Of course, each joint is, as you get into it, as you can see from the state of this, each joint is seized up and uh, and very, very grotty. So it's got to be done. But it'll be a damn nice light when it's finished. Right then, bye now. There we are, folks. That's our reassembly guide. Nut, plain washer, dishwasher, dishwasher, thick washer, gear, and hole uh, washer with hole right so i'm going to tape them or i'm going to wire them together in little bundles so we can reassemble them correctly who would have thought that anything like this would have been so complex but talk about quality of build you know there you go right that's the magic footprint bye now right folks i've finished stripping them down it's all in pieces. As you can see, it's quite rusty. It needs all sanding off. Uh, it's, been, it's been in a damp shed somewhere. But uh, look at the complexity of it. Each one of those is one joint. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight joints in there. So there's eight little packets there of the washers and nuts and bits, all in that order. 
Right, so the next thing to do is to get them on the wire wheel and get them all cleaned up and then we can think about painting them. That won't be today because it's nearly four o'clock now, but I'll get them wire wheeled up and see how they come out. Bye now. Right folks, we can see here how they're put together. They are in fact braised. This piece is this piece is turned on a lathe with these two uh, two threads machined into it and then it's brazed onto a tube with a hole drilled through it to get the cables through. Isn't that incredible? God how much will one of these cost to make nowadays? There you go. Bye now. Right folks, five o'clock. There it is. All wire wheeled up and ready for primer. It's still pouring with rain outside and it's going to be the same tomorrow. So tomorrow I might get them in primer. You never know. H primer for the aluminium of course. But that's all the rust off it anyway. Thank goodness. Right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye now. Okay. Morning folks. We're just experimenting of easy ways of moving paving stones. For old boys. The, uh, yeah, for old boys, yeah. The the idea at the moment is to get one of these bags, put one paving stone in it, put the pole through the uh, loops and see what that's like. Because we are, after all, working over rough terrain. So we're going to crack on with that and see what happens. Bye now. Thursday, 1.30. And we've got all the stones that we've got up high because the others are actually outside still in the street stacked on the pavement all the stones that we've got up high are fitted so now we have to go down low and carry those stones up to the trailer using the stick and bag method which is a much easier way of using moving them than the uh than the sat barrel so there you go right off we go 2 30 folks and the last of the stones is going up to the uh, up to the new run via the tractor, including the one what I broke. Okay, let's do it. Bye now. Oh dear, oh dear. Problems. We got stuck. The field is very soft because it's very wet. We overloaded the trailer because we're idiots. And then the key fell out of the bloody ignition lock and disappeared down that hole there so we're beginning to get it together with the second tractor and a long rope the second tractor which won't actually go into reverse so now I'm going to back this tractor down to there rehitch it again and then we'll put the rope back on and we'll uh, see if we can tow it ourselves out of this mess the field's just too soft, it's like a sponge, never mind. And I'm towing heavy weights uphill and there's roots and all sorts. It's bad maintenance, I think. Bye now. And that's it, folks. All those stones are in. They're level enough. They're a lot level, more level than the land was before we started. And uh, they'll drain off towards the back, which is what we wanted. Thank God for that. Now all we have to do is carry up the panels and bolt them back together but that's a fairly easy job because they're all easily liftable well it is they're not so heavy are they we do have to carry them up that long staircase of course that long stone staircase but never mind no we'll do it we'll do it we'll be all done tomorrow all back together tomorrow assembled right bye now last job of the day for today folks the sausage train is loaded, so it's down to the shed, Fred. Bye now. Afternoon, folks. As you can see, it's another wet day, and I'm gradually beginning to get on top of the tidying up in the workshop. So we have a pile of crap over there. The bench is tidy and then messed up again because I've been doing... I was doing a little job yesterday on those. I'm going to continue with that today. And uh, 
I've got that area beaten into some sort of submission. Now I want to get all this swept up and shoveled up. And then I'll get on with something interesting, I hope. Bye now. It's Friday, by the way. Right, folks. A few minutes to four. Etch primer on the aluminium. Grey primer on the uh, steel. Grey primer on the steel here. And also on this beautiful Memlo uh, 1940s, 30s, 40s, 50s. I think they were like that. They were like that all through that period. Uh, and then they changed to uh, Memlite. But there you go. Right, so that's more or less going to be ready for uh, all for a top coat of silver grey. But that will be next week because this week is over so thank you all for watching thanks for subscribing i've picked up another five or six subscribers this week and uh, i'll see you all next week don't forget to post your comments up uh, send me a like most important press the like button and uh, next week <laughs> Well, next week is actually, the weather's supposed to improve dramatically and uh, we hope to get the uh, the last kennel finished at the moment. It's very grey and overcast, it stopped raining, but uh, beautiful tree on the Langtoff, what used to be the Langtoff pond. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you all next week. Grey skies above, but there's supposed to be blue skies next week. A heat wave, no less. Bye now. Sunday, walking around Merton Park, near York, with Izzy and Kat. This is the old medieval village. And uh, we've just been around the farming museum. I might pop back there and show you some of the exhibits there. Very interesting, a very hidden attraction really because I knew it was here but I'd never really heard much about it and the thing about Merton Park is that it's right next door to and includes the Derwent Valley Railway which was originally ran from out in the countryside into i believe it was called Layerthorpe station and it brought agricultural produce it's, it's a narrow gauge railway and it brought agricultural produce into the city of york and that's just over the back of us here now and we'll be going on a ride on that later so i'll bring you back when we when we're doing that bye now it's amazing this site just goes on and on you open a door in the back of a building and it shows you a completely new area I had no idea this was here. There you go. I've got a silver ring. I've got some few coins in my pouch. I mean, today lots of people work with things, but they don't have that ground. You went somewhere. And my daughter showing off as usual. Some very nice machinery here. Very nice machinery indeed. I'm into machinery, you know I am. Bye now. And here we have the Derwent Valley Light Railway. At the side of some really huge machinery. That's I don't know what that is, is it a ditching machine? Yes, it's some sort of ditching machine. Rotating bucket ditching machine.
rotating ditching machine. There we go. To the station. Let's go. Barry, light railway. Here we are taking a ride on the brake. Can you not go on a train? play area in the buildings. Some really ex interesting agricultural equipment here which uh, I haven't shown you. Bye. <laughs>